Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the first episode of season two of Her Story, which I am focusing on ordinary women who have extraordinary stories. And I'd like to welcome Sabah Al Farsi. Welcome to the first episode. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I know I want to thank you for taking the time out of your family, out of your responsibilities, and coming here today and sharing with us your story. So I don't know much about you, but I know a little bit, but I want you to introduce yourself and tell us what is your story. Okay. Uh, first, I would like to thank you so much for having me here. Um, it's a pleasure uh, for me to share my story. Um, my name is Sabah Bidr Al Farsi. Mm -hmm. uh, I will start with my education background. Yeah. I have uh, a degree in business administration. Mm -hmm. uh, I took it from Malaysia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, when I came back from my study, uh, I worked with the British Council for almost six years. Mm -hmm. uh, during that time, I got married and uh, I had a small family. Uh, I so how old were you when you got married? I got married, I was 25 years old. Okay. And then um, I had my first child when I was like, just after marriage, two years. During that time, I was already working with the British Council. Mm -hmm. Um, I worked for th with them for almost uh, six years. Uh, when I had my second baby, uh, I realized that my first boy was autistic. Autistic. Anyway. So how old was he when you first realized? Uh, I realized when he was three years old. Okay, so by the time your second child was born? Yeah, she was, uh, Irene was, uh, was one year, يعني, you, after, just after birth, the, the <coughs> symptoms started to show more mm -hmm. and we could know that uh, there is something wrong with so uh, the boy. So before that time, you didn't know? Uh, there were some symptoms, but usually uh, doctors, they postpone and they give the child uh, the chance because mm -hmm. they say some children, they have delay. So we didn't really rush to conclusion that there yeah. was something wrong. We thought it's just a delay in talking because he had a delay in talking. Uh, he didn't show any other symptoms. Uh, but when I had my second baby, uh, other symptoms showed up more okay. because he get to see like another child in the house yeah. and he started to get distracted and losing the attention he used to have. Mm, which is normal for every child. Which is but normal for I'm every assuming child. assuming for a child who is autistic, it's, it's more. Maybe? It is, it is more. Uh, <coughs> because the, يعني, other symptoms started to be more obvious. يعني, he didn't have any behaviors problems, but after that, uh, the behavior problems showed up more. Mm. So I started like to see and consult uh, doctors. Uh, Was that easy? Did you know where to go? For example, is there, a, I don't know, is there a center here? How, how do you go about it? First of all, what are the signs of an autistic child? You said yes. your, what is your son called? Ali. 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 So Ali, uh, at three years old, he was not talking. He was not talking, yeah. Like till age of two, he was not talking. So I started speech therapy. Okay. I heard about speech therapy that a child, when he have any delay, you can just uh, mm -hmm. have therapists and things will be fine. Yes. So we moved to the steps while I was pregnant with the second baby. I started the speech therapies and the, the therapist also thought Ali is fine. And she said, just give him a chance. Mm -hmm. So I gave him a chance. Uh, I enrolled him to a nursery. Uh, the nursery was not a good decision, actually, oh. because some children, they cannot handle the changing of environment. Mm. So uh, he got shocked and uh, it affected him more. So I was not solving. I made it worse. worse. But then I took him back home. Uh, we didn't have much guidance because he was the first case in the family. Okay. So uh, I started uh, seeing doctors and uh, I've been to different uh, uh, clinics to get guidance. Uh, uh, when I had uh, uh, my second daughter, he started uh, complaining from noises. So we have to be... Because of the crying? Or uh, crying and uh, he can't handle lots of people coming for visits, you know, mm, when we have yeah, a new yeah, child, yeah. So, uh, so what was it that uh, yani he would start crying? Or like yes, he will be discomfortable. And then the speech therapist, when she used to come home and give therapy, he will refuse. He will not cooperate. And then she told me, I was the, during that time at my mom's house. He, she told me probably we should go back to, to our house so that he feel he more was. comfortable in the same environment. And I had to send him back home with his dad, yani, instead of sitting with And all this time, you, me. you still have not diagnosed the autism? No, I, I didn't even know about uh, autism. 
okay. because like during 2000 he he's, uh, he was born in 2010 there was no much any uh, awareness, awareness yeah? about mm. the uh, autism and even if you go and you say there is something wrong the doctors will always give you any hope you know la give uh, give him a chance till age of 2 like after age of 2 they will uh, do the full diagnosis and say, okay, there is a problem and you have to start. So but if a mother thinks something is wrong with her son or her child and she cannot do anything about it, as you did, no, because doctors say you have to be at least two. So for any mother yes, out there... You feel safe. This is the problem. This mm. is the, uh, it's a main challenge because sometimes there is a problem with the child. But you feel comfortable when you go to the doctor yes. and he tells you, no, the, the child is okay. Are you are? Yeah. The child will be fine, just go and wait, give him a chance. But uh, then all the symptoms suddenly start to appear يعني, mm. at once. But Alhamdulillah, يعني, uh, I was uh, very happy I started at the age of two with him speech therapy. يعني, sometimes I say if I didn't start, I would have more problems. Because it would have been the communication yeah, would have been very exactly. difficult. Yeah, exactly. It's very important we work on communication skills. At any age. At, and at any yeah, age, especially without... Uh, يعني, having any problem, mm. يعني, even a child, if he's normal and he have a like, problem in speech, you will always be concerned because it's the way we communicate with others and yeah. we have to solve out this. Of course. There you are. So then you had Areen. I had and Areen. Still, so here you have Ali, who has now been di diagnosed as autistic. autistic. And is, so, okay, tell us what is autism? Okay, when we say autism, we have um, dif different symptoms. Uh, the child cannot communicate, depend on severity, because mm -hmm. some children, they have uh, autism, but it's very light. He can communicate, but maybe he have problem with uh, social interaction. He will not uh, be able to interact much with people. Uh, they have uh, um, sensory issues. When we say sensory issues, they cannot handle uh, sounds, lights, mm. uh, texture. So, for example, going to a theme park? Yeah. With a lot Some of children, lights, lots they of cannot handle like the, the sound and it's two noises for them because sometimes it's lots of noise coming in together. The, the way the brain is functioning and um, how their body function is different. Mm. The sound that comes into our ears, it goes normally and we can accept more than one sound. For them, no. It, it, it it's comes like very they need noisy. to focus on one sound. Yes. Kind of tashwish, yani. tashwish, build up. Okay. Uh, that is one of the problems and uh, sometimes uh, they cannot uh, handle sitting in one place. They will want to and uh, jumping one toy to another. Sometimes he will want to spend more hours like using one thing. Mm. They have problem with uh, playing. Some children, they don't know how to play. It means they cannot share and the way they are playing is uh, abnormal. Mm. So now you have, going back, you have Ali who is autistic. How old is Ali now? Ali is 10 years old. MashaAllah. And then you have Areen? Areen, now she's seven. Seven, and? And then I had Qusay. Okay. Qusay, uh, he's, uh, he's now five years old. The gap between Qusay and Areen uh, is uh, three years, mm -hmm. almost three years. Uh, when I had Qusay, I had another challenge as okay. a mother. Uh, I had to leave my job. I didn't mention this because of Ali. At that time, I thought I should spend more hours at home to focus on Ali, on Ali yeah. to make sure he get the proper um, therapies, the, the proper um, care, care. Yeah, yeah. because uh, leaving them to housemates and house care, it's a bit challenging. And uh, my mother, during that time, she was working as well, and my mother-in-law, so I was a bit alone. Mm. So do you need somebody to take care of Ali 24-7? Yes. Because wow. he doesn't have the abilities to know what is dangerous. Uh, mm. He can uh, go out of the house. Yeah, and you have to be careful. You, you can't expect what he will do. Yeah. But uh, with Qusay, Qusay is the third one. He's also autistic. Also autistic? Yes. But he's a mild case, alhamdulillah. So Ali is... Uh, severe. Severe and he's mild. Ayyoh. Uh, Qusay, uh, he have another challenge, which is uh, uh, bleeding disorder. Okay. It's called uh, hemophilia. Uh, what happened is like uh, when he get injured, uh, he bleeds. Like a lot. Yes. Not like a small cut. We all bleed. Nah, we all bleed, but our body clots. But uh, his case, he will bleed uh, uh, longer than us. 
it will clot but with the help so of medication ah subhanallah ayo but alhamdulillah he's on his medication and uh, he's stable yani uh, and he has to so and this is a lifelong it's a lifelong medication. so he has to be on medication he all has his to life. be on medication for his uh, and you have to be very lifetime. aware that he doesn't get hurt so even a small even when he plays you yes. have to make sure he doesn't get hurt yes at a younger age it was a bit uh, difficult. very difficult you know how the children are especially boys boys they're very naughty he want to climb uh, i had to make the house very safe mm. so i had to put almost uh, a carpet everywhere so that Even if on the he bumped, of uh, I, well, I had to move the furniture. I had to remove anything that is sharp. Uh, I have to be very uh, careful with toys. Mm. If any sharp toys, yeah, yeah, uh, he yeah, can yeah, easily yeah. get hurt. Uh, it was challenging more when he was not on his medication, like uh, the first two years. Usually, they when don't you didn't start. Know he had it. No, you I know? knew. I knew when he had uh, hemophilia B, which is very rare. I think here in Oman, there are only three cases. Subhanallah. So, uh, Husay was diagnosed with uh, hemophilia B at the age of... Uh, uh, he was six months, I think. Mm. I started seeing bruises on his body and uh, I got scared first. I thought uh, uh, maybe he, 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 he used to be يعني, injured by the housemaid yeah, while yeah, I'm yeah. not around. Uh, having Ali in the house was also not scary. Yes. I say maybe Ali hold him and he dropped him while he was small and yeah, I yeah, was yeah. not around. So I remember going to the doctor and I showed him uh, the bumps and the bruises he had in the body. The doctor got so scared and he told me, uh, you have to have your eyes on him 24 hours for a month. Don't leave anywhere. Just to make sure the bruises he gets is not uh, but, from someone yes. who is injuring him uh, <clears throat> or it happened just by chance. And then I sat with him. Yani. I was very patient. I sat with him for one month and then I realized. And you have to check his body every day. Yeah, I started to realize he will get bruises, uh, like, you know, when you change the diapers, when you yeah, 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 you, yeah. you hold the leg, uh, I would like, I will find sometimes my hands, uh, uh, the finger fingers, prints on uh, the place where I, I hold him. So I had, even the way to carry him, I have to be very soft Gentle. and kind. And I didn't know again about hemophilia. So I uh, went to the doctor, we did some blood checkup. Uh, the result uh, came out that things were normal. I did it in a private hospital. So I went back to my mom. I did my researches. I got scared because uh, when I start to read about such uh, symptoms, uh, it showed like uh, the people who have cancers, they get mm. uh, that kind of uh, uh, marks on the body. I got scared. So luckily, alhamdulillah, I got him uh, registered in SQ hospital. And uh, we got an appointment with the, the hematologist because usually uh, this uh, process goes Checks. through hematologists. Okay. And uh, they did the test. Uh, first test came uh, positive that he had hemophilia. At the time, we, they, they prick, uh, prick his, uh, well, uh, his, his arm, arm for that, yeah. it got swollen. And this was one of the symptoms of hemophilia. The, the, and he was like admitted in the hospital for three to four days because, because of, of the bleeding. It was internal bleeding happened because of the pricking. Yani hatta when he was in the hospital, the, uh, when I took him to the emergency, I told them yani he's on hemophilia investigation. Uh, I think this happened because he's having an internal bleeding. Al Muhim, alhamdulillah, he started his medication uh, at the age of two. Uh, because he went through a very difficult time. I was uh, traveling uh, yani outside the country with my husband and he had internal bleeding and he was in ICU. Mm. His blood dropped. Uh, he was at the age of two years old and his blood dropped uh, till four. Yani it was very critical. Yeah. I had to fly back and come uh, back home. Uh, the, the doctor was about to have an operation for him. They say if the uh, يعني, bleeding doesn't stop, we will have to do a procedure, يعني, a medical procedure to mm. see the problem. But Alhamdulillah, يعني, من رب العالمين, uh, the bleeding stopped. يعني, and he went to normal care. When I arrived and I look he after him, okay. he was okay and he started his medication. Oh, so sure. Subhanallah, sometimes problems happen to, to, reveal to help the, yes. uh, and relieve. But he started his medication. Uh, again, at the age of two, uh, another challenge showed up 
that he is autistic, I started to realize that uh, he has some symptoms. Mm. And uh, because I have a previous experience, I could tell يعني, there was something wrong with Busay. Uh, again, I rushed him to uh, a nursery. Yes. I put him into a nursery. But alhamdulillah, the nursery was a good uh, option for him. He Maybe because he was not as severe as not Ali. Not as Ali, yeah. ayyua. So alhamdulillah, going to the nursery helped him so much. Uh, it's a bit challenging having uh, both boys, they're autistic because Ali is severe mm. and Qusay uh, is mild case. So Qusay, he doesn't understand what's wrong with Ali. Yes. Because he's still young and yeah. he have, uh, his, uh, his uh, learning is very slow. Yeah. So the experience of Qusay going to nursery was the right, better, decision. The right decision for him. Yes. So and... After Qusay, do you have any other children? Yeah, yeah. after Qusay, I had my little uh, daughter, the last one. Mm -hmm. yani. She is now two years old. MashaAllah. And she's okay? She's normal, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So you have four children. Four children. Your two boys, uh, autistic, and uh, Adi is severe. Qusay, uh, mild border, case. I don't, mild case. And he also has, what's that? Hemophilia B. Hemophilia. And so, Sabah, yani, having this, what were the thoughts going through? You know, to see both your children, did you ever think, you know, some women would question, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why are my children like this? It was at the beginning, يعني, it was very difficult to accept. يعني, especially I had Ali, so I was positive. I thought, لا, خلاص, maybe it was just Ali. And with Qusay, because I had, he had hemophilia. Mm. So knowing that he's autistic also was another challenge mm. because uh, it's a medical case, يعني. he need to talk, he need to tell me what goes wrong. Yeah, yeah. Or how he got hurt. Or how he him. got hurt. If something goes wrong, I need to know. Mm. And again, there was a big gap there. Mm. And how was it uh, with your family? Did anyone like, did they reject or did they treat them differently? لا, 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 Alhamdulillah. I have very, very supportive family and very supportive husband. If uh, uh, you you can't have supportive people around you, you cannot uh, mm. you cannot give. Yeah. But alhamdulillah, they are the best. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and how are they all now, the brothers and the sisters? How are your daughters uh, with uh, you? With Arine, brothers? she is very good, mashallah. Yani, she loves her brothers. And uh, she treats them as a therapist. Yani. She knows what they want. <laughs> uh, because Ali, yani, he can say a few words. But uh, sometimes he doesn't finish his sentence uh, asking what he wants, she will know what he wants. Mm. يعني. Alhamdulillah, يعني, at the beginning I thought uh, it will be very difficult. Still we have our own challenges, but uh, Alhamdulillah, having those girls in the house helps so much. Like now, today, what are the challenges you're suffering? Uh, um, Ali, he needs يعني, someone to watch him 24 hours. Mm. Uh, uh, so we, we, we have... Uh, we have like timing for everyone. I will look after him uh, certain times. Uh, I will have the helpers to help me so as like, well. So uh, like in shifts? Aywa, they shift, yani. And uh, also sleeping, he cannot sleep alone in the room because sometimes he wake up in the middle of the night and mm -hmm. he needs someone to be with him. Um, he have some uh, problems with sleeping, uh, stress, meltdown, uh, especially with the lockdown. Yeah. Because he don't get much uh, to go out. out. Yeah, we have uh, outside yard, but it's not enough, you know. Uh, they like to get exposed to nature, mm. the beach. We cannot do that yeah, because of, uh, because COVID. of the COVID. Mm. Uh, also, the challenges that I had, uh, uh, sometimes Ali, when he have his meltdown, he will fight. Mm. And he will, uh, he will fight with Qusay. And uh, Qusay, with his medical issue, he cannot, yes. يعني, he cannot handle... Uh, and Ali cannot and um, cannot understand. La, ayo, he doesn't understand that Qusay uh, have a, a bleeding disorder and he need to go to the hospital. Subhanallah, I said, and you're saying this, and I'm imagining my girls this morning fighting, but they were verbally <laughs> fighting. But I don't have the worries that you have. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, ayo. they're in good health. And if I'm thinking, Ya Rabbi, they they just woke up and in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but Alhamdulillah, you know, uh, yani thinking, mm. I don't have that, this challenges Challenge. that you have. And seeing you, Sabah, when I greeted you this morning, yani, anyone looking at you will not think that you're going <laughs> through this challenge. You have such a beautiful soul. And if I were to ask you now, you know you had all these challenges and your children are the way they are. I know it's a very harsh question to ask, but I'll ask because somebody okay. needs to hear. Okay. If you could choose 
them uh, to be different, would you choose them? No. Because they are children. And they are my children. Yeah. yeah alhamdulillah. هم هدايا الرحمن. Yeah. Gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. MashaAllah. Ashway. Alhamdulillah. This is what this is about. I know we're crying, but this is showing emotion and I thank Sabah for being raw uh, and courageous to come. She is a hero and an inspiration in her own world and today she has inspired me. Thank you. So uh, Sabah, you were saying that your children are a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how has it changed you? Wallahi, it's changed me a lot. I see uh, the world is different now. Mm. يعني, for example, uh, when I used, uh, when Qusay used to be admitted because of the bleeding disorder, uh, first it was very painful for me to see him suffering, but uh, I get to go to a section where there are children with uh, cancer. Yeah. Children who have uh, to have uh, uh, infusion every day or to get blood like uh, the child will be there يعني, maybe he'll be admitted for a week and I can see uh, a small girl or a small boy coming for uh, blood uh, uh, infusion uh, يعني, twice twice daily yeah, Allah. يكون the blood uh, have yeah. dropped a lot so I started to feel whatever I have is a blessing and other people have more challenges يعني, than what I have mm. You see, the, you see يعني, uh, sometimes we get to complain about simple things. يعني, we are not happy with the, uh, what we have. Yes. Well, while others, uh, subhanAllah, يعني, they, have, uh, they are in a bad situation than us, uh, facing a, a harder challenge what I have. Yes. But you see them accepting. Uh, Smiling, smiling, but this is what you are for me today. <laughs> what you are explaining now is who you are for me. You have yeah. challenges, some that we know, some maybe that we don't know. But you are here يعني, smiling and being so positive, mashallah. So yeah, as I said, you have really inspired me. So just to before we end, I'd love you to really send a message to any woman, any mother who has children um, similar who are autistic or going through any challenges. Um, what I would say to the mothers who are uh, there who have uh, a challenge like a special uh, child who have autistic who is autistic or he have any uh, medical issue you are a strong parent uh, you've been choosing for a reason from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are a gift from Allah uh, we have to accept them and accept their case to have uh, the blessing uh, we need also always to uh, get the help they need يعني, we shouldn't ignore them because unfortunately some parents they, they get to neglect their children when they are uh, uh, a special need children and they end up uh, just putting them at home without uh, having the proper care mm. uh, Alhamdulillah now we have uh, all the facilities available uh, we are all educated uh, even the families who are having limited education they can always search for information to get the proper help for their own kids. Thank you so much, Sabah. Okay. Please send my regards to Ali, Qusay, Arin, and the last Sama. Sama. <laughs> and thank you, your husband and your family for the unconditional support that they give to you and your children. Allah Thank you so much. Thank you.